So what is that gadget in a gray box? Looks like, I don't know what it looks like. Huh. So that's our mystery gadget. And that's why we call this show, What the Heck Is That? Welcome to What the Heck Is That? The new gadget game show. And I'm your host, Steve Greenberg. I can be seen on NBC's Today Show, as well as a bunch of local stations around the country. I'm always showcasing new products and new gadgets, and that's what this show is all about. We've got a mystery gadget over here, and we've got some panelists who are going to try to identify what this mystery gadget is and does. So first up, we have Lois Whitman Hess. She is a PR maven, she's a blogger, she's a podcast, and she is our very own Kitty Carlisle. We love Lois. Thank you, Lois. Uh, and she sticks her tongue at me. Very nice. Next up is a man who has voiced commercials. Uh, it's Oliver Tull, a man who has voiced commercials, video games, and one very nervous marriage proposal. Did she say yes? I hope she said yes, Oliver. She did. Or at least I hope oh. for the sake of our children she did. <laughs> oh, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> and next, we have Harry Redlick. Uh, he uh, does hot yoga where he sweats puddles in every class. I have only one question for Harry. Why? Why do you do it, Harry? I do it because it makes me feel great. I would go with moisturizing. That would be my advice. But okay, <laughs> I understand. Okay, that's So let's move on to... <laughs> I'm not going to go to a room to sweat. Look, that's just not me. Okay, let's move to looking at the product. We've got it sitting right there okay. on, in the, on the puppet stage. Take a good look. And let's go to Harry first. Harry, what are your three questions about this product? Um, does this perform a health-related service? Um, I'd say somewhat i don't know if it's life or death but i would say yes it's a healthy thing it's performing yeah i would give it a yes that's uh, one uh would i use this primarily in my home i think you would take it out and about it wouldn't it could be in your home but i think it would also go with you use it anywhere any right okay Two. Um, uh, god it's so wide open right now it's just like it's like you know it's like driving through texas <laughs> it could be anything and you could be anywhere um it's a health related mm -hmm. And um, you can use it anywhere. Um, and uh, so uh, would people of all ages use this product? I would say teenagers and up. I, I think if you're less than a teenager, it really wouldn't be something for you to use. So those are your three questions. We move on to, well, let's go to, Lois Whitman Hess. Lois, what do you think? Okay, that looks very interesting. It, does that product have anything to do with the virus? Hmm, good question. I think it was developed before the virus, but it might have some uh, maybe undocumented advantages with the virus. I wouldn't, I wouldn't rest my hat completely on that but yeah i think there there is something that makes it more promotable now because of the virus but i don't uh, you know i don't know if the science is there or not um does it blow away things from you no it does not blow things away from you that's two does it turn on like with a light uh, you mean, does the, does the light turn it on? Or you mean when, when you no, turn when on it, like... Light... When in the function has something to do with a light that lights up. Uh, there might be some light inside it, but I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't think that's how this works. 
but that's a good question. Um, I mean, it lights up if that helps you at all. I just turned it on there, lit up. Hmm. Okay, now we go to Oliver Tull. What do you think? Okay, I, I have to admit that I'm very confused by this device, but here we go. Okay. I think that there's an icon for power on and a timer, like a clock icon. Is this something that you would use at regular intervals during the day? I think this is something you would turn on and have it on for a period of time and then have it turn off. Okay. I don't know if it's regular intervals. I think uh, intervals, but okay. I would say that. But I, but you're somewhere in the right area. Does it use UV light in any way? I don't. I should know the answer to this, and I don't know. I think it doesn't. Okay. Uh, but it does use something in that family. But I think in this specific case, it's not UV light. I okay. don't believe. But don't don't hold me to it. Does something fit inside of this thing? No, nothing fits inside of this okay. thing. Okay, that's three. Uh, we go back to Harry for one more follow-up question. Harry, take a look at it. What do you think? You said something in the family of UV light. Um, only in the function of what's going on. I don't know if specifically there's a UV light inside it. My instincts are that there is not a UV light inside it because I read through the material. I don't remember seeing that, but there's something in that same family in going on with this product. Does it purify the air? Okay, you're in the right family there. But we got now you got a specific. How is this used? It has a very specific use. It doesn't just do that. It it does more. So that was your first question. You're going to only get one. So now Lois, follow up his follow up. You found um, out a lot of good information. Yes. Uh, does this sweeten the air? Um, I wouldn't say sweeten, but I would give you improve. So I'll give you that. That's the follow-up question for you. And more importantly, where would you use it is the other follow-up to that. But let's see where uh, Oliver takes it. Oliver? Is this used <laughs> in a restroom setting no it is not used in a restroom setting hmm. okay but okay you have as much information as you're going to gain yes uh but you do have an idea of kind of what it does but now you got to guess what it what it does and how you would use it it's, it kind of has a specific design and it it fits into some people's everyday life other people not so much my marker is really pungent, I have to say. It's a magnet. Uh, okay, if <laughs> you pass out because of uh, that's, that's marker good. smell, we, we will call 911. Oh my God, I'm getting high here. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm getting Sharpie high. Me too, me too. Goodness gracious. <laughs> uh, I'm getting worried about the viewers here. Ooh. We don't want to lose you guys to, to Sharpie madness. Oh, there's my dog. Okay, and there's the dog. We'll see what Georgie's guess is in just a moment. Okay. okay, so Harry, go first. What do you think it is? Does it remove dust particles? No, that's not its primary goal, but that's, I'll tell you, I'll, when I explain it, you'll have a better idea, but good guess. Lois Whitman, Hess, what do you think? What the heck? Eliminates humidity. Uh, it probably does some of that too, but again, it's not a specific location. So if we move on to Oliver Tull. I thought it was an air cleaner for very small New York apartments. <laughs> okay. In some ways, Oliver's the closest to the winner on this one because it is called Pure Air Sport and it's designed for your gym bag. You throw it into your gym bag and oh. it removes uh, oh, odors God. and prevents mildew in that and freshens your clothes. You can also use it in a closet and other places, but really it's designed for a gym bag. They also make, I'm going to show this over here, they make this little product too, which is called, here we go, this is called the um, Air Solo. And this one you wear around your neck and it creates a, 
a bubble of fresh air around you, about four feet, they claim. They also do claim that it, it does uh, reduce exposure to pathogens like mold spores, bacteria, viruses, as well as volatile organic compounds, so especially harmful chemicals. So it will do some things. Viruses are in there. There is kind of a, a pandemic angle to it, but they're not making any real claims about it. I certainly wouldn't do that. The gym back thing again it's more about mold and mildew uh, but viruses are in are in the mix as well again i wouldn't put this as a pandemic a solution but the company is called uh green tech environment and it's green tech envy.com um the sport is 79 dollars. this little solo is 129 dollars, so it's not cheap yeah and um it's just a great way to um have, you know, have fresher air around you and fresher air in your gym bag. And let's face it, anybody who has a gym bag knows that they all eventually stink. So uh, I, I highly recommend it. Let me take this moment to thank our viewers and to tell them, please subscribe. Tell your friends. We want to get as many subscribers as possible. So please subscribe. You'll, if you enjoyed it, they'll enjoy it. Subscribe, you'll hear more about it. And of course, we'll be back again next time with another mystery gadget when we'll be asking the question, what the heck is that? So long, take care. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>